this example we're going to have a look at modifying spaces. We'll also create a plenum level and add plenum spaces to, and modify those spaces as well. The first thing I'm going to do is create a section through this gymnasium. Using a section will actually make modifying the spaces a whole lot easier. So now I've created that space, let's go to that particular view. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually set the subdiscipline to MEP. And we'll also rename that section as well. You'll also notice that we can't see any spaces at this point in time. So let's go to visibility graphics and turn on the internal visibility of spaces. And now we're going to actually create a view template from this particular view that we can use later. Once we've named it, it'll appear in the list of view templates. So as you can see, there's a problem with this space. It's not actually going up as far as it should be. So let's select the space and change the upper limit right to the top to reference 3. When we apply that, you'll see that the space actually stops where the roof line is. Going back to our space plan, we're going to use another section. So this time we're going to section through the cafeteria and the kitchen. Open up that new section. Now rather than renaming and uh, 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 changing the uh, subdiscipline and turning on the spaces, in this case I'm going to go down to the view template and pick where it says none and find our space section view template. So there we are, we've set it as uh, MEP and we've got the spaces shown. All that remains in this case is just to rename this particular view. Now we can see that in the kitchen area it's fine, it actually finishes at the, the, uh, the, the ceiling height. But if we look at the cafeteria, the cafeteria is slightly higher than the space is allowing us to get to. So let's just change the upper limit, let's change that to floor 2. And we'll change the offset to just 1 meter. And now when we apply that, you see that the actual space does actually fall right up to the ceiling of the cafeteria. Now we're going to have a look at putting in a, a plenum level. So into architecture and we'll create a level for our cafeteria plenum level. So first thing is set the height, so we'll set that to 4350 and we'll rename the plenum level to show that this is a cafeteria plenum. And we'll rename those corresponding views. What remains for me to do here, I'm just going to add an elbow just to make it a little bit tidier so we can read the floor 2 level as well. Now when we open up this, this particular level, we'll need to do a few more changes as well. So in this case we'll need to change the subdiscipline to MEP. And we'll also have to go to visibility graphics to turn on the interior visibility of our spaces.
Now we had to do this, we couldn't actually just take a, a view template at this point because the view template actually uh, controls the height as well. Now we're in a new level, that wouldn't have worked. So, Okay, so in this case what I'm going to do now is put the spaces in for our plenum level. Let's first set the upper limit and put the two spaces in. As you'll see the spaces aren't named correctly so really we need to actually uh, rename the spaces so go down to our identity data give it a new number and this will be our cafeteria plenum and we just need to do the same for the kitchen plenum as well so I'll select this space and just give it another number and again make this the kitchen plenum so now I'm going to go back to our cafeteria section and there we can see our spaces in there. Now the height's fine for both of these spaces but the depth not so. So we need to modify these two spaces to fill that, that gap. So for the first one for the cafeteria what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the base offset to a negative one and a half meters and there you can see it fills that gap. For the kitchen one all I'm going to do here is just drag that space down. Nice and simple. So this is modifying spaces with Revit MEP. Mm -hmm.